Claire on Spotlight Creations, and today we are in the kitchen because we are going to be making some elephant ears. If you don't know what elephant ears are, boy are you missing out. So I'll be showing you and telling you what they are. So elephant ears, as you can see on the photo, are these like big dough, but like the fried like things and there's cinnamon sugar on top and they're so good they're light and fluffy they're sort of like funnel cake but instead of powdered sugar it's um cinnamon sugar so yeah so elephant i got my elephant ears at all these and all these is a very cheap store and like food store and so you should totally go there if you have one here where you live because it is a lot better prices these also have these really good churros that you also get at taco bell and they look exactly the same. They taste exactly the same. And they're delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. We are going to be opening the box, and you may need scissors, so I'll be right back. We finally got some scissors, and I got it open. And the pack comes with yeast. Powdered this stuff and cinnamon sugar. In case you don't have it, so yay! We have to start with a three fourths cup warm water. So it's actually kind of hot, but we can add some cold water. So yeah. So I got my three fourths cup warm water, so I'm just gonna pour it in. Yes, I'm spilled out, so yeah. So I got my three fourths cup. Warm water, put that in very carefully because it will get messed up. And then put in your yeast that should come with it. And if it doesn't, then you might just have a different recipe because this doesn't really say how much yeast came in it, it just says the yeast. So I apologize if this doesn't work for you. Now you're supposed to stir it until it's completely dissolved, and this smells really odd. And I don't understand how this is going to dissolve fastly because it is very odd looking. And stir very carefully because I already spilled some. So, oops. Mm -hmm. Now that it is pretty much completely dissolved, it's hard to see what it is. I am going to pour it into the elephant ear mixture, which I will pour into the bowl. So yes, I just poured my elephant ear stuff into my, in my yeast stuff into my elephant ear stuff. And I'm like stirring it before I need it because I don't understand the part which just says knead the dough. So I'm going to knead the dough, I guess. It said to knead the dough. So, so, I think that means what I'm doing right now. So, I'm going to do that until it's all good. But I would advise you to stir it a little bit so it's not so liquidy before you put it on the counter or wherever you're going to be kneading your dough. So, I'll come back when I'm done kneading the dough. So, I am now kneading the dough which i already said a couple of seconds ago but i am still kneading it and this means i'm going to get an elephant here then i'm going to knead the dough so yay just please hit thumbs up this took a lot of work now you have to cover your mixture and let it sit on the countertop for 30 minutes in a warm spot I'm starting the timer. Don't forget, kids, you must always clean up your cooking area. So that's why your parents will let you work next time. As you can see, I cleaned my countertop. And next time, I shall be doing the dishes. So listen to my advice, children. Now I have to do the dishes. And don't forget that if you don't clean up your the mess you make when you're cooking or baking, your parents probably won't let you cook next time in the kitchen. So don't forget.
don't forget. Finally, I finished. Gosh. Oh, it's so cool. The yeast is making the stuff rise. Tire it, guy. So while my yeast and my dough rises, I'm going to have a refreshment lemonade. Mmm. So good. Oh, it's even higher now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, yeast dough is done. I am so excited because we are about to fry my elephant ears and that means it's almost time for deliciousness. Yay! So you have to get a skillet. Like this. Put it on the stove and put it on about medium, like 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'll get on to the next step. You're going to take a one and a half inch ball and roll it. Then you put it on lightly flabbered parchment paper and make it into a flat, really, really, really thin, like oval circle thing. And depending on the size you want it, you can make it different. And don't forget to put um, one and a half inches of oil in your pan. Then set it in your pan and let it fry about 30 seconds on each side. And then you have your elephant ear. See the elephant ear cooking and it looks very delicious. When you're done having it fried, quickly put it onto a paper towel so that way it can absorb the leftover oil. Sprinkle on some a little bit of cinnamon sugar while it's still hot and enjoy. Mmm. Here is an overview of some of them we made. They taste so delicious and I can't wait to get them next time. Guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!